Alright guys, today's a day. I'll do my first cut with this uh, Mach 3 build here. Um, so if you just started watching the series, this is actually originally a 3018 CNC. Ball screw upgrades, made this containment system, brushless conversion, Mach 3 conversion. Here's the background noise, I'm doing some printing right now, but alright, so I gotta figure this out. I got calls going, I got a 1 8 inch, two flute, two millimeter, it's like 2.3, two millimeter drill bit, and we're gonna print out or uh, cut out, mill out um, that little wood thing right there, and my little pine right there. And then this should be set to auto. So if I had it in manual mode, I could manually adjust the uh, spindle. The spindle's on. G code is loaded. So I gotta go back and um, I gotta zero everything out here. Alright, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, Alright. I really don't know what's gonna happen right now. <laughs> Hope it works. We'll see. Okay, let me zero this out. Take the Y zero. And then we go back and go back to jogging. So right now I'm in increment mode. We'll go back to uh, this way and make sure I don't snap the bit here. All right, I'm go back to increment mode and then bring this in slowly. So increment mode, you can see it barely moving. Actually, I just realized, I don't know if I even, I know with gerbil I had to set the actual, like, the, the lead screw uh, pitch. Um, I think I did that already, the steps per millimeter, whatever, I think it's, I can't remember what it's called. That may, when you, when the thing commands 10 millimeters, it actually goes 10 millimeters. So it goes to the right. Okay, that's, oh, let me go back up a little bit. That's probably it. it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, at least for my first cut, it doesn't. Um, so I'm going to zero the X. X is zeroed. And I go back up. Go back to uh, jogging. Bring this up. Bring this over. Now I'm going to set the Z. Okay, I'm going to go back into increments and bring it down slowly. Okay, it looks like it's probably about good right there. Yeah, eventually I'll do like a like a probe. Okay, set the Z zero. All right. So I'm gonna go to X Y Z zero right now. See what happens. Ooh, that didn't go up though. That's a so on this uh, Mach three, it's called Save Z. Save Z setup. I'm gonna allow Save Z moves and let's try that. I guess I could manually specify too. Put that one. I'm assuming millimeters, that's what my thing is done. Okay, let's go to. So when I go to that, it should bring it up. And I went all the way up to the home switch. Except, uh, I gotta reposition the, the Z again. Okay, so I gave it two millimeters of save Z. Let's try that again. Up two millimeters, back over to the Z. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed here. <laughs> I mean I hope that I'm good. It's not it's not an expensive bit, so uh Alright, so let's try it. Let's see what happens. So I do actually have my coolant, so my coolant should come on. M8 and uh, the M8 command should turn off my uh, air pump back there. And then I'm running at twelve thousand five hundred RPM, we'll see that here, so um, guess we'll find out. Here goes nothing. Okay, let's see. Okay, that loud noise is my air pump. millimeter depth cuts. Uh, I'm doing five millimeter infill deep. So uh, I mean five millimeter, the pocket's five millimeters deep. Well, I guess we'll see now. Uh, spindle uh, is 
pretty accurate. I mean, I said 12,500, we're right in that range, about 100 degrees or 100 RPM off. Yeah, I might move that air, air pump down here, just because it's creating so much vibration. I might detach it from the, uh, the device here. Yeah, I noticed that like when I uh, tighten this up, it gets even louder. Yeah. yeah, I don't really want to transfer that vibration though into my parts. Um, air is working good. That's why you don't see it, it's blowing the, the, the sawdust in the back of the uh, chip container system. You wonder how to get it out? It's my bottom drawer. I don't to get the chips out. I'm going to double for a second. The uh, air pump. It definitely is a lot quieter. So, yeah, it's creating a lot of vibration in this thing. But as you can see, the chips are piling up. Plug it back in, I'll show you what a difference it makes. So, still chugging away here. I mean, my containment system does pretty good catching most of the stuff. I mean, with aluminum, it really catches most of it. I mean, there is a little bit of... The aluminum is heavier, so it wants to sit at the bottom. But yeah, I'm just getting familiar with how this thing operates, what it looks like when it's running. Look, you know, just looking out for our alarms, warnings. Yeah, I know there's a lot of noise. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but... I know why this thing is not centered now. I was kind of wondering why it's more on the left side than the right side. Well, it's because in the stock tab, I put down 110, and the, actually the part's actually 120. So I might cut it into my vise when it cuts it out the outside, the 2D pocket. Like I, once I'm done with it, I'm gonna cut it out as a piece. But I might go into my vise. But that's not a big deal. I can always 3D print another vise. That's not a big deal. Cool, chugging away. So my thing stopped, but my computer, the screen went off. So I got to log back into that thing. And so it stopped, but the spindle's running. So I don't know what's going on here. All right, so it looks like Mach 3 crashed. Um, it's kind of a bummer. So um, it, it crashed when my, my computer went to, it didn't go to sleep. But when it went to like um, turn the monitor off to save power, it crashed Mach 3. So um, that's something to, to know for the future. So I'm going to turn off the uh, screensaver. But designing the screensaver just shuts off the monitor. That's all. One thing I did from it's interesting that when it did crash, it kept the spindle running. That's actually why I can just turn off it with my. That's why I created the manual uh, on and off button up here in the front. Uh, I'll <laughs> I'm an IT guy too. Should know better. Um, never. I'm gonna turn this off. Never. All right. All right. Double check. Make sure that it's saved. Never. Never. Okay. All right. I'm gonna reload a piece of wood on. Now I can actually at least get it straight now. Um, that way I'm not gonna cut into the vise. So. All right. Start all over. Right, so um, got the piece of wood in here. And if you're wondering why I actually even went to the butler here, well. I, mean, I do actually have a pretty big air compressor, 60 gallon. Um, but it's pretty uncool to my neighbors. We have it like, run 24 7 for hours. Um, yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's pretty loud. So, um, yeah, that's why I wanted to keep this whole thing a little lot quieter. So I could run at nighttime too, you know? Alright. Alright, so I put a bigger piece of uh, material on there, 150 millimeter. And I also updated that in. Um, Fusion 360, so now it should hopefully print more towards the center. And when I do the final part cutout, hopefully it's not going to hit the uh, vise. All right, round two. Okay, so I'm actually not running the air, but you can hear the uh, relay turn on. All right. I had my man I had my uh spin on manual. It's actually nice having the controls up here. Yeah. I had my feet. Uh I guess I had it more aggressive, I guess. I don't know we're changing the fusion though. Let's get back and take a look at it. I mean it looks a lot more aggressive. Well, it's moving faster. 
extra part that I bring out right here makes it so much more stable. I used to have some crazy vibration in here. Yeah, like lots of loud vibration. Vibration's totally gone down in there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on, but it's doing the same routine again. Right, so I think I know what's up. I think it's doing a uh, finishing pass. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. If it's Fusion 360 or the post processor. Uh, I've been going for two hours. I'm just doing some basic cuts here. But it keeps on going through and it feels like it's almost like it's doing like a final cut or something like not like a not like a roughing but like a final pass but i mean i'm only up to here and this thing still run all kinds of juco here so hi guys i just realized that this thing is finally going to start in the over here this thing is actually 404,000 lines of g-code over up in an editor yeah i don't think i'm going to use adaptive again adaptive I mean, I don't know, I, I gotta look at the, the G-code again, but yeah, it should be 400,000 lines of G-code for this. Uh, yeah, it took hours. It's like it just repeated itself over and over again. So, yeah, I gotta figure that out, but that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, how about snap that bit to the outside? But this should go all the way through the wood and leave some tabs. the first successful job on this uh, Mach 3 3018. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I mean, I didn't mean to run five hours, but, um, so the stepper didn't get too hot. I mean, they're hot, but you don't want them, you don't want to under, if you undervolt them, then you're going to start skipping steps. So, um, you know, undercurrent them. So, I mean, they're warm. Uh, also, I don't even have a fan right now. On the, I don't have my cover on. But uh, those are not even, I mean, they're just slightly warm, the drivers. Um, uh, I mean, a lot of this stuff is for me just blowing my mouth in there. I mean, I disabled the, the pump just because it was so loud. I'm going to probably take that off there, move it down, back down. Then a little sawdust here and there. But, yeah, the majority is in the chip containment system where it should be. Then I just brush it down to the bottom drawer and pop it out like that. All my stuff is on my Thingiverse page. Everything works. Spindle worked. Um, but yeah, I don't like adaptive clearing because I don't know what the deal is. So, I mean, I had never really, this is the first time I've run a job on Mach 3. Um, I'd done lots of jobs on uh, Gerbil. But yeah, I don't know why it took so long. It took like literally went through so many repeated uh, cutouts. Uh, but just taking off a little bit off the edge every single time. But 404,000 lines of uh, G code. Um, I think I'm about to do like the, not, it's not adaptive, but it's more like the uh, 2D contour. I'll try that next. But, uh, all right, let's bring this forward. We'll take a better look at it. Bring this forward. Lights look pretty good. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Having fun. Cool. <laughs> 